What do John and Jod send us now? What does Crazy Eye see here? Another shame skin? Good. These Knights of St. Pelin need all the help they can get. Crazy Eye and the other Bandari have done all they can. Maybe it's your turn to help now. Are you living in a dog's den? Imperial skirmishers have been raiding this camp, stealing the Knights' supplies. This one and friends were just passing through, but the Bandari help when they can. Like Crazy Eye doesn't have anything better to do. Ah! If the Knights appreciated the Bandari, they'd fatten this one's purse. Crazy Eye doesn't like to work for free, do you? Or maybe since you're not Bandari, they'll pay you. If you want to help, see the Knight Commander, Sherilyn. Tell the Knight Commander you want to help stop the Imperial raids. Tell her Crazy Eye sent you too. Tell her this one deserves a little present. Or several presents. Several shiny presents. Yes, three times in recent days. Crazy Eye was only here for the last raid, but she saw them coming, even put an arrow between a few pairs of eyes. They still managed to steal more supplies though, yes? Very tricky are these unclawed skeevers. Probably from Bankorai Garrison. That place has fallen, yes? Many knights were killed. Crazy Eye is careful not to talk about it in the camp. For the present. If things get too dirty, though, Crazy Eye will save her own hide. This one and other Bandari are not mercenaries. We're traitors. No! So unfair, too! Crazy Eye's been guarding this gate for hours and hours when she could be back in her tent taking a cozy little nap. You should tell the Night Captain. Tell her to give us something! Here at the Martyr's Crossing. Important trade routes run through here between North and South Bankorai, yes? And supply lines from Evermore to Bankorai Garrison. This one was told that the Knights of St. Pelin have always guarded this place. Is it true? Did you really explore the Crypt of Hearts? There's a sight for a sore eye. Someone who looks like they can spill blood for a righteous cause. The Imperials have just about licked us. I've only got a few knights left who are fit to fight. I've had to recruit Bandari to defend the camp. Frankly, this place isn't easy to defend. It was originally just a little two-man outpost, here to guard the road. With enemies to the north and south, we decided to increase our presence here. Turns out that was a mistake. For starters, it drew knights away from the garrison. That's part of why it fell so easily. The other problem is that we stockpiled supplies here we couldn't protect. They're gone now, though. One more raid, and we might as well retreat to Evermore. By St. Pelin's beard. Of course there is. Biggest problem right now is the Bandari. I've got wounded knights, but my healers can't heal them without supplies. I know the Bandari are sitting on a bunch of poultices. They need to share. That's what I was hoping. Old Silver Paws over there is the one calling the shots for them. See if you can convince him to cough up some of those poultices. We've got lives on the line here. Try not to let that Bandari skeeve out of doing his part. Those damn cats have an excuse for everything. Of course not. The Knights of St. Pelin set up an outpost here to protect the trade routes. The Bandari's livelihood depends on us keeping Martyrs Crossing safe. We shouldn't have to pay them to help protect it. We have to figure out where they're coming from first. So far, the Imperials have been raiding at night. I sent scouts to try to track them, but they never came back. You think the supplies are all they wanted? Not a chance. Those fobbing bastards want to drive us out. They're trying to break the supply lines between Evermore and Bankarai Garrison. They'll keep raiding until they do. I envy my brothers and sisters' optimism. In its current state, the Order of St. Pelin could not mount a defense in depth, let alone take back a fortified garrison. Do not concern yourself with me. My wounds are only superficial. 
There are many here in greater need of assistance than myself. Greetings. Normally I would take pride in telling you that I am the most worldly Bandari merchant in old Tamriel. I would present you with a lavish display of the amazing variety of goods I have to offer, but I cannot do that today. Not everything, but they did see some of our goods in the last raid. Me and the other Bandari were busy helping the knights defend the barricades. We didn't see the Imperials slip into our tents and steal our most valuable possessions. Do they? Did Knight Commander Sherilyn send you over to ask this of me? Can she not even show Silver Paws the respect of asking herself? Of course not. Either way, we can spare no further supplies. We've given the Knights everything we can. I wonder what the Knights of St. Pelin would do if the scales were tipped the other way. Would they give up their supplies for a group of Bandari merchants? I won't have these Knights' blood on my hands, though. I will take the high road. Hmm. Well, there is a thing about the poultices. We do not have them just yet. The good news is that I had foreseen the need for them, so I sent our herbalists out to gather what they needed, but they haven't returned yet. I didn't want to concern you. I thought the herbalists would be back any minute now, but now that I think about it, they have been gone a long time. I hope nothing unfortunate has befallen them. They went up to the water. They needed a special algae from the lake. Don't tell anyone, but that's one of the key ingredients in the Bandari poultices. If something happened to them at the leg, though, I don't know. This one thought we were troll food. Ah, Silver Paws takes care of us. He would have been so proud of Deep Swimmer. We made all the poultices he asked for. But now, so many of us died. Silver Paws will be sad. Yes, they are needed, aren't they? Silver Paws knew they would be. Their trolls were the only threat Deep Swimmer found here, though. He saw Imperials coming in on boats. This one thinks they will soon raid the crossing again. This one agrees. If the way is clear, we will run then. We will get these poultices back and put the guards on alert. This time, we will be ready for those... Dungy shave skins. Run fast, friends. Follow Deep Swimmer. And don't drop any poultices. These are all the supplies we have left. If the Imperials want them, they'll have to go through me to get them.
The herbalists weren't lying, Knight Commander. How do you know? This one saw the Imperials with her own two eyes. Headed towards the crossing? How many? This one didn't count them, but there were many. Time to make our stand, then. Tell the other Vendari to be ready. St. Pelham's blood. I'm glad you're still here. Fobbing Imperials. I figured we had at least another day or two before they'd be back. The poultice has helped, but there's not a knight here who's ready for battle. They're here, and right now, I'm damn glad of it. The cats are all carrying Alessian bows, too. I just hope those bows still shoot straight. Either way, their arrows will only do so much. If you're willing, I put you on the line, too. The Imperials are coming from the lake, so the worst of it will be at the northeast gate. If you'll plant yourself there and keep them from getting by, we might just make it another day. Even now, some of my brother and sister knights call for another assault on the garrison. But we can't even keep light skirmishers out of our camp. Attacking without reinforcement would be suicide. Daedra, take these Imperials. By St. Pelin's blood, I'll see that fort retaken! Yes. And more yet, within the garrison's walls. We tried to gather as many of the wounded as we could, but the hail of arrows was just... endless. We had to leave the wounded on the field until the battle was over. So we must say, defense of the garrison is our chief responsibility, and we must retake it. But frankly, I don't see how. We haven't the supplies or the manpower. We just have to hope this rumor about Emmerich has some truth behind it. A runner arrived, bearing news that Emmerich's Lion Guard is en route to reinforce us, perhaps led by the King himself. We'll see if it's true soon enough, I suppose. We need a trebuchet, Morten. If it isn't the five-clawed walker who saved our herbalists, Crazy Eye is very impressed. Are you here to help me fight these dungy Imperial dogs? The worst, or the best, depending on your perspective, walker. It's your turn to be impressed now. Crazy Eye has her new bow. Together, this one and you will make Imperial pie. Are you ready? Crazy Eye is always ready. Here they come! Ha ha! Here they come! Don't worry, Crazy Eye has your back. Circle around! Imperials coming! More coming! Come to Crazy Eye, you dungy shame skin! Well, that went better than expected. Not one breach of our perimeter. Guess those Bandari are good at something more than just swindling. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. The Knights of St. Pelin are indebted to those cats. To you too. Now's our chance to end this, though. To make sure those raiders never show their faces here again. How would you feel about pressing our advantage? They're in retreat now, but they couldn't have pushed off from the shore yet. I say we burn their boats, or... Rather, you burn their boats, if you're up for it. That's what I like to hear. You like to fight, don't you? I get that. When I was younger, I felt much the same. Go burn the bastard's boats, then. I'll say a prayer to St. Pelin for you. For all of us.
the Bandari scouts so they could see the flames from here. Let's celebrate! Actually, I hope you don't mind, but I went ahead and started celebrating. After everything that's happened here, I deserve a drink. Silver Paws did too. Yes, I think I judged the Bandari too soon. Silver Paws is actually quite a gentleman. Or is it a gentle cat? I just hope he doesn't expect me to pay for this mead. No way. This one's on the house, and by the house, I mean the Bandari. After a few more drinks, I think I'm headed back to my tent. I think I'll take a nap. A very long nap. Was it my imagination, or did she say she was expecting the Bandari to pay for this mead? If that's the case, that will be her last mug. Thank <laughs> you.